what if you never got into crypto maybe you didn't buy the house or you didn't meet the partner you didn't go to school or learn that skill what would your life look like this is a very complex idea known as random walk i'm gonna do my best to break it down for you so please show some support for this video and stay until the end because i have a free gift for you now imagine you have to make an infinite number of choices where the probability is 50 yes 50 no you start with zero points and you either get one point for yes or minus one point for no. You're going to end up with a graph that looks something like this. And that is because there's probabilities where you get plus one every time and there's probabilities where you get minus one every time and there is a lot of probabilities in between. The consequences of your previous choices affect your future. Quick side note, this is very different than random walk theory, which is basically an investing thesis. I'll talk about it in another video, but I wanna talk about how we can assess a random walk. And in order to do that, we need to go to Monaco. And no, I am not talking about Formula One. I'm talking about the Monte Carlo Casino. A Monte Carlo simulation is going to take a deterministic probability and basically repeat it an infinite number of times. Super easy example. Let's say you were running a Monte Carlo simulation on a strategy where you started with $100 and you entered a trade with all $100 and you either doubled your money or you lost it all. Essentially, what that random walk would look like would be $0 or $200, $400 or $0, $800 or $0. That is what that random walk would look like. So 